very proud to be here with you today, standing up for freedom and for rights. And I come from a city where our minorities make up the majority. And I'm very proud of our Indian community. And I'm very proud that we are here today. You are here because you are saying no. You are saying no to the state-sponsored murder, rape, and lynchings of Muslims in India. You are saying no. No to the restrictions in religious and gender rights. And as seen through the hijab bans and as seen through the persecution of interfaith relationships. You are saying no. No. You are saying no to the, to the state-sponsored impunity of Islamophobia and anti-minority hate. You are saying no. And I'm standing here with you. And I too say no. No to the criminalization of human rights activists. No to the criminalization of journalists and others. And no, no to the bulldozing of Muslim homes. You are right to be here. And it's terrifying, terrifying that Christians and Sikhs and daylights are being persecuted too. Persecuted in India through murder, through rape, through lynching, and through mob violence, all under the watchful eye of the Indian government. We're talking about ethnic cleansing. The ethnic cleansing of Indian Muslims through the enactment of laws, making it legal as the Citizenship Amendment Act and the nationality of citizens must is showing and these must be opposed stripping indian muslims of their citizenships and detaining them in detention centers is right out of the playbook of the far right right out of the playbook of the far right and must be opposed i stand with you today in opposing this you know we saw through the farmers' protests, through the farmers' protests, which was the largest single strike anywhere in the world. Understand that. It's the largest single strike anywhere in the world. And, the, and their action and how they, were, how they were persecuted and targeted by trumped-up trumped up charges of nationalism of sedition and terrorism used against peaceful farmers in an attempt to suppress them, in an attempt to suppress their peaceful protest against the corporate takeover of their farms. You were right to stand with them. They resisted. They drew on international solidarity and the oppressors, you know, they've backed off for now. And that's why we must never give up. Britain's, Britain's imperial past of divide and rule in India cannot be allowed to continue. The UK government has a historical and moral responsibility for what is happening to religious minorities in India today. Britain's trade agreements need to be called out. They are lacking in any human rights stipulations. We have a duty to oppose this. The far right are on the march. They're taking control of governments around the world. And we must, we, we must oppose them. Your struggle here is an international struggle of solidarity. 
Your struggle is our struggle. We are united. And therefore, together, together, we must stand in opposition together. So I'm pleased that you are here and that you are going to march because you are marching for your rights. You are marching for freedom. You are marching in solidarity. And there is no greater thing than solidarity because as we know, it can bring change. And it's change for our lifetime and it's change for generations to follow. Thank you, solidarity.